Hello guys, and uh, welcome to another video. So in this tutorial, we're going to introduce one animate, a unified character animation and replacement framework. So what it does is to replace the character in the video to a character in the image you provided. So for example, this is the original video on the left. This is the generated video on the right. So to generate the video on the right side, you just have to replace a character in the original video by uploading a image of this character you want to replace and there's a lot of samples that provided in the paper you can scroll a little bit on the page to see so all these videos are very good and so in this tutorial we're going to show you how to generate all these great animation videos so Without further ado, let's get started. If you go to the official REPL of this animated framework, go to the README section of the one video one 2.2, you can see there are steps to follow to install the required dependencies and how to spin up this new feature. And if you want to just try it out, there's a quicker way, which is to go to the Hug and Face Spaces 1 2.2 Animate. You simply just have to upload the image and upload the video you want to refactor or want to update. Or click the samples down below this Hug and Face space. You should be able to try it out without any problems. In today's video, however, we're going to show you the other way, or maybe the best way so far is to use ConfUI. So if you go to ConfUI.org, and you can see here, this is uh, officially supported. So the ConfUI now officially supported 1.2.2 Animate, which is awesome. If you want to try this out, you just need to download the workflow right here. So there's samples to show you how this works. So example outputs, you can see here. So if you have a people on the image, and you want to have a video on the right, so you can actually replace the man in this video to this guy in the image. And you can see here, so, so this is how it looks. And also there's other examples as well. Feel free to check that out. Um, so the results are very impressive. Without further ado, Let's go to Comfy UI. So after you download workflow and upload it to Comfy UI, it is something like this. It's a very big and very complicated uh, Comfy UI workflow. And after you upload the workflow from the official REPL, uh, there are a few things you should do, uh, about five to th six things. So the first thing you have to do is follow the instructions in this workflow. So download the models. The advice. So there's a bunch of models you have to download. Let's zoom it a little bit bigger. You can see. Um, so you can see there are a lot of models here. Download everything except the diffusion models because uh, the diffusion models are quite big. So to try to run this on Kaggle, you have to use the GGUF model, so which you can download from this quant stack REPL. So just search for it in Hugging Face. You should be able to find it and just try the Q4 or Q5 version. So which is the best one you can try. Q8 is a little bit bigger. So, and let's go back to the workflow. So this is the second thing you should do after you download all the models. You also have to download the GGF model from the Quant Stack mod, uh, Quant Stack Rebel. So the third thing you have to do is to replace the image size because we're actually running this on Kaggle. So there are limited memory, which is 16 gigs. So you have to generate a small video first. So if you want to make an HD video later on, you have to upscale it. But to run this workflow, you have to update it to a smaller size. So when you try the first time. So for example, try it with the 256. So that's it. The third thing 
you have to do after you upload the workflow. So there's fourth thing you have to do is to change the prompt. So the prompt is to guide the workflow to generate what type of animation you want to do. Uh, for example, you want to update the character to a talking personality, right? To a talking human. So then you have to let the workflow know that, okay, I want this character to talk in the video. So that's the fourth thing you have to do. The fifth thing you have to do is to connect different components or connect different nodes in this workflow. So if you download the workflow, you will know what I mean because everything is separated. So you can see this final workflow is very complicated because they're all connected. But initially, if you download the workflow, nothing is connected. So, but they are guidance in this workflow, for example. You can see there's get with get height, set original FPS. There are uh, VAE, set VAE. There's uh, get positive, get negative, or get VAE. So those are basically guidance to show you where to connect. But when you just upload the workflow, these are not connected. So this is the fifth thing you have to do. And the last thing, which is the sixth thing, you have to do is make sure you let the workflow know which part of the video you want to animate. For example, if you want to animate this person and you want to replace it with the person or the cat in the image, you have to let workflow know this is a part I want to replace. And I want to actually let this part that been replaced to have this talking animation. So this is the last thing you have to let the workflow now to make this workflow work as expected. So if you do not do this last step, it probably will not replace the character in this video with the character in the image. So these are the six things you have to do after you upload the workflow. So just follow the instructions they have put into the workflow officially, then you should be able to get a desired result. Maybe there are some adjustments you have to do while you're working on this workflow. Adjust some of the parameters configurations in this workflow. But overall, those are the six things you have to do after you upload the workflow to the Confi UI instance. And after everything is running correctly, you will see something like this. So let's play it. You might be thinking, well, let's just give up. Why don't we just let every Okay, so let's take a look at the original video. Might be thinking, well, let's just give up. Why don't, why don't we just let... Every so you can see that we actually replaced the original video with the cat in the image. So this is how it works. And the animation is pretty good, as you can see from the final result. And hopefully this is helpful. And this is amazing product. So feel free to try it out. And if you do feel this is helpful, please comment, like, or subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.